I'm back in the command line, and in this lesson, we're going to be talking about actually the program that you're really interacting with here. The program you're actually interacting with is something called Bash, and Bash stands for the Born Again Shell, and it's a bit of a pun. It's Born, B O U R N E, as opposed to B O R N, and it's really a pun because. The original shell for Unix, or one of the original shells, was actually the Born shell. And when Linux was created early on, we ended up with Bash, which was the Born Again shell. It took the original Born shell and made some enhancements to it. Now, I've got my Born Again shell here, and I can type commands, and it can certainly do things like that. I can also do things like set aliases, and that's really a function of the shell itself. Now, ls is a program, and I can call that program from inside the shell, but there are other things that are really a function of the shell. Interestingly, while the shell is an interactive environment for you where you can type commands into, it's also a programming language. So let me take a look here. This is one of the startup files that would run when you logged in. And you can see there's really a lot of code here, and you may not understand any of it, or you may understand some of it. But what this is, this is written in Bash, and this is written in Bash as a programming language. It uses the same program that you are interacting with directly, and you can do programmatic things like check to see whether this is running interactively. So it's using a case statement and we check the value of this particular variable here. So as a programming language, I've actually got a number of variables, and many of these are just built in. So for example, dollar $shell. Dollar $shell is a built-in variable that belongs in Bash, and echo just says print that variable out. So if I echo dollar $shell, I'm going to get the contents of that variable. And in this case, it's slash bin slash bash. Now, I could run a number of other ones. So, for example, PS1 is my prompt. So, this is the prompt that I've got here. There are a number of other variables that are built into Bash, and you can certainly look those up and see what else you can print out. But again, we've got this programming language that's built right into this interactive environment. So I can do if statements, for example, and I could do these right on the command line if that's what I wanted to do. I can just start typing things in. I could use for loops, for example. I could do if statements and so on and so forth. So Bash is not only this interactive shell that we're working with, but it has within it some programmatic functionality as well. So you can do things in a more automated fashion, which is really one of the nice things about Unix is it's really always been designed as a programmer's operating system and something where you can use a lot of different tools to get things done quickly and easily. And Linux just maintains that history and heritage and has the same sensibilities. So Bash gives you some ability through the programmatic functions to do things quickly and easily.